sometimes the things that our parents and grandparents teach us about food can be wrong. For example, carrots can make you see better in the dark. I can tell you straight out right now, I love carrots. This is gonna make me sound so snobby, but I love carrots. But I can't see my hand in front of my face without contacts or glasses. Also, too many of them can turn you orange and give you other health problems. Also, too much water can make you very, very sick. It's called hypernutremia. Okay, so, <clears throat> Grandma, I'd like to have a word with you about the whole carrot thing. Okay. And of course, there's always those parents that tell you that a certain food might put hair on their chest. I don't know why they think that works because every child I know is going to be like, uh, ew. But okay. <clears throat> Too much salad can make you sick. Chocolate and coffee apparently have health benefits. Food is soulless. It toils not, neither does it spin. It has no morals and does not hold up banks, nor does it run a bookmobile. It just is. It's all in how you use it, how much you use, and whether or not it balances out to an extent. However, keep in mind, I cannot say, go do this, 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 and this, and this, and this, and I'll write you up a diet and exercise program, because I can't. Nope. Well, it, you, anybody with enough business savvy could probably set up a shop and call themselves a nutritionist because it's not legally protected. You can't call yourself a dietitian, which is exactly what I'm going for. I'm still not licensed. So don't let me tell you to go home to, right now and have 40 baked potatoes and you will be able to see dinosaurs and talk with Buddha. It's a lie. Okay, but... So yeah, basically, there are no morals. Technically, you could probably think of this as an inanimate object that has sociopathy. It's in how you use said thing. Although I don't suggest using sociopaths because sometimes they can be, well, not great. But it's all in how you use it. And I'm bringing this up because the LA Parent Union for Los Angeles, Los Angeles County Schools brought up something about food neutrality and is just angry <gasps> because apparently the doctor who is a food scientist for a candy and cookie company, because that does exist, how can we make this feel taste better? What can we come up with for a different, a new flavor? Can we mix this together and what does it do? Kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, technically, your salad may be less healthy than a donut. And so on and so forth. It's all in how you use it. Um, I don't think they walked in and were like, we're just going to undermean grandma and we're going to tell the kids that they don't have to eat all these vegetables. No, no, I don't actually think that's, the, it's all in, if you are talking to someone and, you know, you would probably be like, yeah, okay, go ahead and have the occasional ice cream once in a blue moon or once a week after you're done with this thing or that thing. It's how it's used. You see? Yeah? And there are always going to be people that will argue with you on these things. But yeah, when it comes now back to what I was saying with dietitians, it's sort of like, okay, there's legally protected job titles. You have to actually be able to prove that you have the certificates for it. 
certificate, the certificates and the licensure, et cetera, et cetera. There are some foods, for example, that are legally protected. You can only call them those things in that area. There's that meme about how, uh, unless it's in par uh, unless it's in Germany, it's a sparkling corpse monster or something along that line. So, yeah. And when it comes down to a lot of things, all of this can bring up people who have a need to feel superior of some sort. Ugh. And, um, yeah, this can make you feel fighty because also what you say to your children is important. You do want to give them good, a good foundation and you want them to be healthy, but you also want them to know that it is not a terrible thing that you did just because you decided to have something sweet or that you can perhaps put snacks in a healthy diet that might not always be considered healthy. And it's, I'm hoping so, but then again, I don't always trust the public education system, so <sighs> don't always, meaning I just don't. I've seen too much. Okay, so, and there is a little part of me that will get a little bit fighty about these subjects. But anyway, you are very loved. And uh, go hug a sparkling corpse monster today. <laughs>